Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a video that has been highly requested. A lot of you know that I collect autographs and in my autograph collection videos a lot of you have asked me how do you collect autographs, how do you get them, what do you do, I've had so many messages, so many lovely messages from you all saying you know, what do I do, where do I get addresses from, what am I supposed to write. So I thought I'd do this video to sort of give you an insight into collecting, a sort of beginner's guide if you like, just the really basic facts for autograph collecting. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it useful. Autograph collecting is nothing less than great fun. There's no sort of real gain from it other than satisfaction. You know, it's not going to be educational or anything. But it is great fun and when you get a new autograph for your collection, it is fantastic. It doesn't matter whose autographs you collect, it is sensational. It gives you a chance to sort of feel like you've connected with a celebrity even though that might not have technically happened. It's really, just really great, incredible fun and just definitely worth doing just for the entertainment value. There are various ways to collect autographs. Most of the ones I have, I've written to these celebrities themselves and requested autographs that way. But you can also meet actors or presenters or singers or whatever at stage doors and at different locations, book signings, things like that. Book signings, stage doors, meeting them in person is obviously a, a quick way to get an autograph because you're guaranteed to get it there and then if they're willing to sign. You do have to be prepared for them to say no. Sometimes they will refuse to sign things. Generally, most of them won't. They, you know, they more mostly have really nice personalities, and at least for where I've been, they always sign things. But sometimes they've had a really long day; they're too tired. If there's too many people, they're not going to sign it. But if you write to them, sometimes letters can get lost in the post. They might not get passed on. But the two main ways to do it are writing letters and meeting them in person. What you say when writing to a celebrity for an autograph is entirely up to you. You have to make it heartfelt, you have to make it true, you can't really lie. Now you can lie to a certain extent by saying that you love their latest character in a TV show even if you don't. But it's, it's just called little white lies just to make the celebrity feel better. Because sometimes I've written to celebrities where their latest roles I've never been that fussed about. But I don't want to seem like I'm hanging on to their old roles, I want to feel like I'm a supporter of their work. That's mainly for the sort of charity auctions I do, not necessarily the personal ones. But you don't have to request an autograph because generally most of them will just give them out with replies anyway. But if you are definitely, definitely wanting an autograph, you should at the end of the letter ask for their autograph. It is going to have to be the sort of last thing you say, so it's the last thing they raise so fresh in their mind. But you would feel free to ask these celebrities questions, comment on their projects, say what you like about their roles or their latest adventures, you know, comment on their hairstyle if you have a particular liking to their hair. Just anything that you feel a celebrity would like to read and anything that you would like to tell them. Now this is one of the biggest questions I get asked. People get kind of confused over whether celebrities actually have the autograph cards or if we're supposed to send them. Nine times out of ten, in fact more than that, the celebrity will have the autograph cards. Now for those of you who have never seen them, I've got a couple here. There are kind of two types. Sometimes a celebrity will have one that is personal to the project they are doing or the show they are involved in. Sometimes a celebrity will just have a general a sort of headshot or just a basic photo. So for example the EastEnders cast actually have special EastEnders cards with the EastEnders logo and things on. That's the same for Coronation Street, for Emmerdale, for things like Hobby City and Casualty. Shows which are you know, popular TV shows where a lot of people will be writing for autograph requests. Then you have this one here. Now this is Leslie Sharps and this is an actual personal photo. You actually have the date the photo was printed on the back, which I thought was kind of cute. And these are when a TV show might not get that many autograph requests, but an individual celebrity might. So she has her own individual photo. There's no sign of Scott and Bailey on there or anything, which is of course one of her latest projects. But the celebrity will have those photographs for you. If there's anything specific you would like signed, feel free to send it to the celebrity. There's no guarantee that they will send it, but they will sign it and send it back. But sometimes they do. I know I have. I've got signed song lyrics from Anita Dobson's Anyone Can Fall In Love. I've got little signed Battles and Time cards from Camille Kaduri um, and Joe Joyner as well. Or even just if you have a favourite photo of the celebrity, feel free to send it to them. Chances are they're going to sign it and return it for you. That's also a really good way to know that if a photo is pre-printed or hand-signed, 
you have to be prepared to get an automatic reply. For example, you can see there that on Kylie Babington, she has put my name, Kylie has signed that herself. Whereas Leslie Sharps is just, my name is not on that, it's just her autograph. Chances are she's hand signed that, but chances are she's just quickly done it and shoved it in an envelope and not really read the letter. And that is understandable, because they are very busy, they will be getting a lot of autograph requests. But if you include a picture for them to sign, if they sign it themselves, you're pretty much guaranteed that they've read the letter and they've signed it. So it's a good way to sort of see which celebrities are more interactive with autograph letters. But either way, you don't have to send anything, they will send you something. And if they don't have anything, Louis Walsh signed an envelope for me. So they're going to sign something back for you, so you don't need to send anything if you don't want to. You then need to include an envelope on the inside. This is called an SASE. This is what it looks like. You just put your name and your address on there and most of the time you will have to include a return stamp. That way the celebrities don't have to fork out for stamps and send them back to you. It is also a lot quicker than if you didn't put a stamp on it. So you just put your name and address and then a stamp on and you can just fold that up like that and pop that inside the envelope with the letter when you send it on to the celebrity. Now there are certain TV shows who don't need to have a stamp. Things like um, EastEnders, Carnage Street, Emdale, the big, big TV shows, they do not need to have a stamp included on the SASE. That is perfectly fine. If you're unsure, then just send one just in case to be on the safe side. Or, you know, feel free to ask me or post on forums to find out. If you're just sending it via an actor's agent or to a stage door, because you can send letters to stage doors, I've done that and have, have had lovely success, then you're best to include a stamp with that one there. There's only really one website I use to get my addresses for autograph collecting and that is fanmail.biz. The link to that will be in the below bar for you. And on there, there are hundreds and thousands of addresses for celebrities, agents and things like that worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you are, the address is pretty much on there. If you can't find the address, then you can post in the forum and request it and somebody is bound to have that address for you. I also find that writing to theatres and stage doors and things is so much more effective than writing to agencies because they will get it on a specific day, the day that they are there. So it will just look like this. So you just have to put the actor's name or the singer's name or the celebrity's name, care of, and then the, the, the agency and then the agency address. If you're writing to a theatre, you do have to put care of stage door and then the venue. So say you're writing to King's Theatre, you'd have to go care of stage door, King's Theatre, 297 Bath Street, Glasgow, whatever. Um, and if there's a specific date that's going to the theatre, I'd advise you to put the date at the bottom there. So just say for 10th of October 2011 or something, just so they know what date it's supposed to be there for, because obviously if it arrives late and the actors have moved on, then you, they've missed their chance to read it. But if you send it to an agency, it can take a lot longer for a reply. So if the person you're wanting to write to is going to a stage door, they are at a theatre or they're at a specific location and you know that it's soon, I'd advise you to send it there rather than via the agency because sometimes agencies will just send automatic replies, sometimes letters do not get passed on and if they have a big bag of letters, sometimes it can take them a really, really quite long time to reply. So it's up to you where you send it, but I'd advise you to see if they're sending it to a temporary, a temporary location first of all. The length of replies really, really does differ. As I said with theatre production and things, sometimes they can reply a lot quicker. I've had replies three days after they would have received the letter, which is phenomenal and, you know, many thanks to those people who have replied. Places like EastEnders and Coronation Street, I find, can take up to six months. Sometimes you will never, ever get a reply. Don't think that celebrity is ignoring you. It's more of a case of they haven't had the time the letters got missing or the letter just never arrived with them. If that's the case, resend the letter, they're not going to get annoyed because if that is the case they will get a lot of letters and it'll just be another letter for them. However, sometimes it can take a matter of days if it's an automatic reply. If you're writing to an agency and they just send out preprints, which is just a picture that's been signed and photocopied, you could get it in a matter of days. If that's the case, sometimes you have to question whether it is preprinted or not. If you're not sure, post on fanmail.biz and they'll be able to tell you. Sometimes it can take two months up to a year. It just really does depend on the individual celebrity, what they're working on. 
Obviously it is better to send it to a celebrity when they're not busy. So if you know they've just finished a project and you don't think they've got anything else lined up for a little while, send it then, that is the perfect time to send it. But if they're exceedingly busy and they've got loads and loads of stuff going on, just be patient, they will reply, but it'll take a bit of time. Best of luck to everybody who is just about to start collecting autographs. I hope you have the most fantastic success. Please feel free to message me or comment with any additional questions you have. But that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!